Today, I'm going to try something a little different. I do enjoy doing the vlog style videos. However, I do feel that they are a bit time consuming and it feels a little daunting sometimes to try to get enough footage throughout my week, especially working a full-time job and trying to find things that are somewhat interesting to be able to kind of piece together into a video and share with, you know, the internet. So I think that maybe I might try this style, see how this works for me. I do enjoy, like I said, the vlog styles and I can do them, but I do think that I need to branch out and kind of like taste all the different realms of YouTube and see what kind of works best for me and my schedule and my life. So with that being said, I just like to talk about some things that kind of have been weighing on my mind a little bit lately. And yes, I am reading off of my notebook because I need talking points. Otherwise, I will have constant brain farts. If you see me looking away, it's because I am referencing my notebook because I have issues. Okay, so the next subject I kind of want to segue into is the stresses of being in your 30s. So I will be very honest. I have filmed this little segment probably like six, seven times because I feel like every time I'm filming this, I'm having like some sort of like mental breakdown. <laughs> it's not funny. But yeah, so um, I'll try to keep it short before I have more mental deterioration from having all of these like realizations from speaking out loud, which is very interesting, I will say. For those that don't know, I am 31 years old. That's right, I'm 31 years old. And I think the main stress that comes with being in your 30s is kind of like having your shit together. Having your foot in the door and being knee deep into whatever it is that you wanna do for the remaining of your life until you retire. And I will say that that's not my reality. I have no idea what I wanna do. I'm not foot in the door of any door, not a single door, not a barnyard door, not a sliding glass door, not a sewing door, no door. You know, I think that for me personally, I'm just trying to figure my out as best as I can and as quickly as I can, but it is a little bit overwhelm not a very overwhelming to do so, especially with the age of the internet where you see all of your peers just doing all the things that make them happy and showcasing it, you know? So it does kind of feel a little bit tiring to see and it's like I'm not I'm not angry at anyone's success. I'm very happy that people are successful in their own ways, you know, and they like to showcase the beautiful things that they do with their life, whether it be traveling or being a parent or having this sick career, you know, being a musician, being a photographer, being a rock climber, being this, being that, whatever it is that they're doing, sick, love that. I love that for you so much, you know? There are many things that you know, have hindered a lot of people from doing certain things. So the fact that my peers are able to find something that they love to do and do it is awesome. I'm trying to figure out what it is that I want to do and do it because literally I feel that I am the epitome of jack of all trades, master of none. I am surface level good at many things, but I have not honed in enough time to be a master of anything. So that's my advice to you young whippersnappers out there is find something you like to do and master it. You know, if you want to dabble in different ventures and different things, do it for sure. But stick to that one thing, you know, stick to at least at least one thing. So that way you're able to kind of discipline yourself a little bit more and like hone into a niche. So that is my, you know, age of wisdom as a 31 year old advice nice so i am going to kind of leave it at that because the more i talk about it the more stressed out i get and speaking about stress i want to also talk about ways that i cope with stress the main way being 
music honestly i think that's everyone's kind of like coping mechanism when it comes to stress for me personally i don't like to listen to anything too intense i am more of a chill vibes kind of person the albums that i have like on rotation there's just there's honestly three albums that i have on rotation i have many songs that i listen to but the albums i listen to are one by takashi kokubo and it is called oasis of the wind 2 and that album is by far one of the most beautifully created albums i've ever heard in my life like the way that he is able to compose you know different sounds from you know water to wind and just kind of create this melodic instrumentation with those sounds on top of the instruments that he does use to create you know said background music on top of those sounds is chef's kiss beautiful love it very much it puts me in another world where i feel very much at ease and zen and just like i'm able to breathe again so i will say that i very much enjoy that album the other two albums are actually by the same artist lonnie liston smith one of them is called astral traveling and the other one is called visions of a new world visions of a new world i actually have on vinyl and there is no better experience than listening to an album on record so i will say that these three albums have been on heavy rotation and just kind of like keeping me a little bit more sane and a little less erratic a few other things i want to talk about are just kind of like the direction in which i am taking youtube I kind of do enjoy this like sit down style video it's a little bit different very different um as i've mentioned before many a times i'm not the most comfortable at sitting in front of a camera nor am i comfortable with speaking in front of a camera so and i talk very fast too so i'm trying to learn to enunciate all of my words when i catch on to myself doing that and just being a little bit more understanding that not everyone can understand what I say when I talk that fast. So I really would love to hear any feedback, you know, in regards to the last two videos, which are more of a vlog style video, and this video, which is a more of a sit down style video, um, in the comments below, if you have the capacity to do so. If not, that's cool too. If you're a friend of mine, a quick text will be great. I would really appreciate it. With that being said, I'm going to sign off because I haven't eaten and it is past 2 p.m. and I'm very hungry and I have things to do, so I will go do them now. It's been real, it's been fun, and I'll see you when I see you. you.